In this lecture, we will learn about variables in Python. Variables store data in computer programs. Each variable consists of two things, a type and a value. Every language has variables, but there are slight differences in the rules for each language. These rules are what we refer to as the syntax of the programming language. The basic data types in Python are integers, floats, booleans, and strings. To see the value of a variable, we can use the equal sign. In programming, the equal sign is also referred to as the assignment operator, since it is used to assign a value to a variable. In this example, we assign the variable x a value of 2. Notice that first comes the name of the variable, then the equal sign, and then the value of 2 on the right. Also notice that unlike other programming languages, lines of code are not ended with semicolons. One important point to note about Python is that we do not explicitly specify the type of variable before the name. This means that Python is a dynamically typed language, unlike languages like Java and C Sharp that are statically typed. Python has some rules for how we can name variables. A variable can contain the following characters, letters, the underscore, and numbers. One important point to note is that names cannot start with a digit. Also, names can start with a capital letter, but it is against Python style guidelines. It is widely accepted in the community that variables should be lowercase and either separated by underscores or using camel case. Camel case is when we have a multi-word variable name, so we start off each word with a capital letter and then smash each word into one big word without spaces. For example, let's say we want to name our variable. For starters, variables cannot contain spaces. But if we just remove the spaces, it will be really hard to see where each word starts and stops, and the next word begins. To separate the words, we start each new word off with a capital letter. That is an example of a variable name in camel case. The other way that some people like to separate words is keeping all of the letters lowercase and using underscores between each word. When naming variables, it is important to give variables meaningful names. For example, if you have a variable that will store a price of $5, instead of typing x equals 5, we could name the variable price and type price equals 5 instead. A Boolean variable can have one of two values, true and false. For example, we could have a variable t that stores a value of true. Note that true starts with a capital T in Python. This is different than other programming languages where the t for true is lowercase. Another example of a Boolean variable is if we have a variable named f set to a value of false. Python also supports a text data type, the string. A string value is a sequence of characters within quotes. Strings can go inside of single quotes, double quotes, or even triple quotes. Python also supports number variables. An integer, or int for short, can be a positive or negative whole number or zero. All of the following are examples of integer variables in Python. A floating point number, or float, is an arithmetic type that has a decimal point. It can be positive or negative. Variables are the building blocks of computer programs. Throughout this course, we will be using variables extensively as we write code. In the next lecture, we will learn about the console.